so that brings us to the uh, final point of our uh, program, of our conference program. And um, I'm very, very happy to uh, welcome Justin Afjochnik, ECB representative of the uh, supervisory board. Uh, you were traveling um, to be with us for the closing speech, and I appreciate that a lot. I'm sure we all appreciate it. I also saw you were attending the most of the conference because your name was almost the first um, during the, uh, the sessions on, uh, on WebEx. So you saw what we have done here, and um, it's great that you're here now with us. So please, the floor is yours. Thanks a lot. And uh, let me congratulate the organizers for a fantastic conference. I think it, the program was uh, really nice and interesting on this first edition of the uh, ECB annual Re supervision research conference. So I would also like to thank the program uh, committee chaired by Torsten Beck. I don't know if Torsten is here. Yes, thanks a lot for uh, being uh, with us here and setting together this very interesting program. I th I, it is, as uh, uh, sa was said here, I tried to follow uh, most of the conference at least, and I really seen that we can learn more and we will really have use of research uh, in many different areas of supervision. I would also like to thank Andreas uh, for I mean, organizing this event and uh, all the team who has been involved. It's not just Andreas, it's Klaus Dullmann. I know that you have also been instrumental here, but Monica Banbura, Britta Bertram, Stefan Seitz and Nasa Hanafi. Now, I probably not mentioned everybody. I know that there are lots of people also behind who have done a, a lot of work in order to make sure that this event could take place. But thanks a lot, really, to everybody. And uh, <clears throat> I would, of course, also like to thank all the speakers, the discussants, the session chairs, and all the participants, both here in the room, but also on WebEx. It's, I think we had more than 500 registered on, on WebEx, so I think that's a good thing with hybrid events that we could also take on board so many participants. Uh, and I mean, to be honest, I'm uh, happy that after 10 years with SSM, we have now found a platform also to involve research in our work, so I think this, it sounds like it will be a yearly event and we will make sure that we also can get use of research as a sounding board for our supervisory activities. And as you are well aware, I mean, research is a little bit of a backbone to central banks in their monetary policy making, but I hope that we also as supervisors can be using uh, the result of research uh, to a larger extent. And also maybe the interaction between micro and macro supervision and uh, monetary policy. I think here is an area where I can see there is work uh, ongoing, but I think we can also make use and, and uh, discuss that even more. And um, for us as supervisors, I, we have matured over the first uh, 10 years. And an important uh, driving goal for us has been to create a level playing field in Europe for the Euro area uh, banks. And uh, the development of harmonized supervisory methodologies and practices uh, brings our super banks, ba supervised banks to a, common, uh, to a higher common standard. So um, at the same time, our supervisory approach has a little bit uh, moved for, from having been, I mean, predominantly rules-based and uh, codified to a more risk-focused and adaptable to rapidly, uh, a rapidly changing environment. And that is also what we have seen over the last year. So I think here, again, uh, research can play a bigger role for us in our a more risk-based approach and our risk-based uh, uh, views. And I mean, what I have seen here in the exchange of views between uh, us as supervisors, but academia and also the market participants, I think that was a very good contribution. That is also what we try to do as supervisors to have a, a good communication and discussion with many different stakeholders. I think that helps us to sharpen our focus and also uh, sharpen our methodologies in how we are working. 
So I will just shortly highlight three areas which are come to are very close to me. And the first one is digitalization, which you have also uh, discussed here. And the, <clears throat> I think it gives, gave us the discussion here gave us very insightful. Uh, um, results on the challenges, also uh, on the challenges lying ahead, both for us as supervisors, but also for banks. And on the one hand, the digital technology, I mean, is an important driver for to improve uh, cost efficiency in banks. But we also know that investment in digitalization also comes with a cost, and you don't see the. Um, the, or you can reap, you cannot reap the benefits uh, immediately. And we also saw in the paper from our colleagues from the Federal Reserve that it's also going the digit or having a more digital approach. It's also uh, entails operational risks that you have to, of course, uh, take into account. So, uh, but still, I think digitalization is something that our banks need to focus more upon. And as you are well aware, we also have a, a quite intense activities and discussions with our banks in order to make sure that they, in their review of their business models, also take digitalization into account. The second area is, of course, climate. We are working a lot on climate, and uh, we have, uh, over the last years, I mean, uh, we have issued our supervisory expectations. Uh, we uh, conducted the stress test, and we have also made a thematic uh, a review over the last years, and we had tried to publish the results on all those activities. And here again, I, I listen into the discussions you had on stress tests, and I can also here see that we can benefit a lot also from a research result in improving our uh, framework in this area. And uh, on the results from our thematic review, I mean, that was a deeper review and uh, uh, on a number of banks, and we can see that quite a number of banks are making progress in this area, but we can also see that there are laggards in all, nearly all the, the, on all the topics that we have uh, expressed our supervisory expectations upon. So we need to continue work in this area. It's an important area both for us as supervisors, but also for the banks. The third area I just want to touch upon is transparency. Transparency is an area where we are discussing and we are trying as supervisors also to be more transparent. We think that it will uh, improve the trust in us as supervisors, but also improve the trust in, in banks and the credibility in banks uh, in, and the assessment that the financial markets can uh, regularly uh, do of our banks under supervision. And it will also uh, reduce the asymmetric information that the market sometimes complains about. Uh, but transparency also comes with a lot of discussions. And uh, here again, maybe you can also uh, help us with improving also the knowledge and understanding how far we can go on transparency, because here there is a balance, there is quite a uh, substantial views that if we go into too much detail on transparency, that may affect financial stability. Um, I'm thinking about stress testing results, for example. We are publishing stress test results, but there has been also a discussion that we could go on more, uh, publish more granular data. The same comes with the uh, SREP scores, for example, and the methodology behind the SREP scores. Uh, can we do more in this area in order to make our work more understandable, both for the banks, but also for the market? So here is an area where we probably need to, uh, to discuss more and maybe also see more results from research. So uh, with uh, those three areas, uh, I would li now like to uh, close. And before closing, I would like to mention that we plan the next conference in 2024. And that is uh, the year when we celebrate the first 10 years of the SSM. So there is already a, a, a plan for the uh, program that we would like to a little bit look back to see uh, what was the plan when the SSM was uh, established with this supranational supervisor. 
uh, what have we delivered, what are the lessons learned, and how can we go uh, take the next steps, what, how can we sharpen supervision further, how can we be more effective and more adaptive to uh, new methodologies and uh, new analysis in our uh, work. So I would, uh, I look forward very much to the next year, but uh, before that, I warmly thank you for, particip for having participating here and also for your support to foster more research in the area of banking supervision. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Justin. And that uh, leaves me with uh, wishing you um, a safe way um, home, wherever you have to travel. Um, in town or in another country. Um, take care and thanks again and, well, see you at the latest next year. <laughs>